talking about preparation before leaving for a show and a few things to do when you first arrive. If competing in events such as halter or showmanship, grooming and presentation are strong components of your class and require meticulous care. Other competitors may want to ensure that their horse is in the best condition possible when presenting them to the judge. Either way, grooming and bathing your horse should be part of your care regimen when preparing for a show. Not only does grooming improve your horse's overall appearance, but it also ensures that you closely inspect them daily for scratches or injuries. A couple of days prior to leaving for your show, give your horse a bath using soap and whichever products you would like. Horses have natural oils in their hair coat that gives them the shine we all desire, and bathing them tends to strip those oils from the hair follicle. So, for a few days following their bath, try to only rinse them off so you give the oils ample opportunity to rise to the surface. This will give your horse an overall shine to their coat for when you hit the show ring. Gray horses and white markings can be difficult to keep clean and bright. The easiest way to make the white markings on your horse shine is to bathe them using a purple shampoo such as Bright Lights or White and Bright. Check the directions for application time to make sure you don't leave the shampoo on your horse too long. When used correctly, you should have a flashy, bright horse in no time. Just as you want your horse to look their best at the show, cleaning your tack can be just as important. Not only does it show that you take pride in what you do, but it also helps you go over your tack to ensure it's in working order. Make sure that your equipment is put together correctly and none of your tack is illegal according to your show rules. For example, a snaffle bit should have the curb strap between the bit and the reins as seen in the picture of the top right corner. If you move the reins in front of the curb strap, it creates leverage, which then makes the bit illegal to use in most snaffle classes. It's easy to overlook potential tack hazards on areas of the saddle or bridle that we don't normally look at. A few things to double check are your off billets, since you normally tighten your saddle from the left side. Pieces of leather to see if there are any dry rot or weak areas that may break and make sure everything is tied correctly. Look over your cinch and under your pad for areas that may be rubbing or irritating your horse. Also check to make sure that you have keepers to hold your back cinch in a proper position. When you arrive at the show, it is important to check your stall for safety hazards before putting your horse in it. Zip ties are commonly used to hang various objects. Make sure that there are none left from someone who used the stall before you that your horse could potentially rub against and cut themselves. It is important to make sure that there are no nails or rocks lying on the ground that your horse could step on. Holes can commonly be found in older stalls. Horses can easily get hung in these holes, causing them to become injured. Before putting a horse in a stall, check to make sure you don't find any. It is also very important to make sure that your horse cannot reach any electrical outlets. If they can, make sure not to plug anything in that your horse can get a hold of. Water and feed buckets are among potential hazards that could lead to possible injury. The hooks and points of attachment on the buckets have exposed metal tips that your horse could easily scratch their eye or face on. By wrapping these edges with duct tape or electrical tape, you can easily protect your horse from harm. A lot of the floors that your horse may have to stand on at the show are hard dirt or concrete. Allowing them to stand on hard surfaces such as these, where they're not able to move around due to being in a stall, can cause them to stock up. You may notice swelling in the lower parts of the legs and your horse can become stiff. One way to try and prevent this is by putting mats in the floor of the stall. This gives the horse a softer ground to stand on. It is also important to make sure that you have an adequate amount of shavings. You should be able to cover the whole floor of the stall without seeing the actual floor beneath them. Taking your horse out of the stall to exercise them, even if it's just for a short walk, can also help to prevent stocking up. <laughs>